Hey guys and welcome to this lesson in our course for surge protection device. In this lesson we will start by giving an introduction to a surge protection device and why do we need it in our electrical system. So the device which you can see here which is as you can see here this one, this one here and this one both of these devices are the uh, surge protection devices so what do they do or why do we need them in the single phase system as you can see line and neutral for single phase systems and LLLN which means three phase and neutral which is for the three phase system so what the benefit of surge protection device Surge protection device is a device that protects electrical devices from voltage spikes. So it is um, used to protect us against over voltage phenomena. So uh, it is used as an over voltage protection device. As we know in our electrical system we have circuit breakers, circuit breakers and we have fuses which are used to protect against overcurrent we say them as an overcurrent protection protection which is used to protect against short circuit and overloading uh, phenomena so in our case when we need a surge protective device SBD we it is abbreviated as SBD SBD is used to protect us against over voltage now, so what is the problem exactly? The problem or the uh, disadvantages of having a transient over voltage, this will lead to instant failure or longer damage to our equipment. It can lead to insulation failure in our electrical equipment. So we need to protect our equipment against over voltage. Now, uh, let's just delete all of this. These voltage spikes are occurring due to two main reasons. Number one, it can happen due to the lightning strikes. Lightning strikes coming from the sky. It can be direct and indirect as we will see. And it can also happen due to the switching actions in the electrical system. So when we switch on and off or when we switch off large loads, or switch off large motors and transformers it can lead to large transient over voltage so we need to protect our electrical equipment against these over voltages so for example if we talk about lightning strikes we have two types of lightning strikes it can be a direct strike and it can be indirect strike now what does it mean direct strike and indirect strike? So let's say if you can see here in this uh, image here, let's say you have a transmission line, okay? And if the lightning strike hits the transmission line directly, it is said to be direct strike, okay? So it is a direct strike when it hits directly the transmission line. So when it hits the transmission line, it will lead to an over voltage. It will increase voltage of the transmission line. So for example, instead of having the normal 220 volt for a phase voltage or 380 volt as a line to line voltage, here I'm talking about distribution, okay? So instead of having this, it can even go to thousands of voltages, okay? Due to the hitting of lightning strike now of course we are talking about in the range of low voltage it can be even this transmission line can be let's say uh, 100 kilovolt for example in normal operation or 220 kilovolt and due to the lightning strike it can even increase very large beyond these values so this is what we call direct strike now another thing that happens which is a indirect strike so as you can see similarly as direct strike instead of hitting the transmission line directly it can hit the ground so when the lightning strike hits the ground directly it will lead to increase of the potential of the ground so remember that our ground is considered as our reference voltage 
okay our reference voltage which is equal to zero okay now when it has the ground it can lead to increase in the potential of the ground which can lead even to uh, over voltage on our equipment not only this but also this is called indirect strike because it doesn't hit the transmission line however it hit the ground and led to uh, over voltage phenomena also in our uh, transmission system another thing is that when the lightning strikes hit the ground this lightning strike remember it is currents okay so it is currents flowing to the ground this currents will have an electromagnetic fields remember this current is very very large so due to this large current we will have large electromagnetic fields that can even affect the closest uh, transmission line and it can even induce voltage on them similar to the coupling phenomena so it has two ways number one increasing the voltage of the ground and even provide electromagnetic fields that affect the transmission line and induce inside them over voltage now as you can see for lightning strike and we have a switching actions as you can see this is a normal voltage let's say 220 volt for phase voltage now the lightning strike can lead to a large overshooting on voltage for a very very short time okay now for the operating uh, impulse which is due to switching actions it can be like this a smaller impulse then it goes down however if you see the difference you can see voltage is very large a very large spike or very large over voltage in this case compared to the switching actions due to this large differences we will have different types of uh, SBDs that protect our device okay one for lightning strikes and one for the switching actions okay each of these has their own waveform uh, not only this but as you can see if the our equipment operates at 220 volt you can see very large change okay even one kilovolt for example okay this is just an example okay all of this can affect our equipment now the same idea you can see here the lightning strike can hit transmission line leading to over voltage in overhead lines uh, which is connected to our equipment also our equipment can be earthed as you know in a well designed system they are earthed to the ground and this ground should be zero however due to the hitting of transmission line to the ground this will lead to increasing of the potential of the ground and our equipment is already connected to the ground already earthed or grounded so it will lead also an on over voltage on them and as you can see also due to the hitting of transmission line or hitting of the ground both of these produce electromagnetic fields that's why these electromagnetic fields can lead to induced voltage in our cables and lead to um, over voltage phenomena which we call coupling by radiation radiation or electromagnetic uh, radiation okay or electromagnetic fields thank you for watching this lesson i would like to invite you to our academy khadija academy premium uh, membership which will help you learn more about electrical engineering in this academy or in the academy membership you will find that we'll have more than 100 uh, courses in mass, electrical engineering basics, uh, power engineering uh, career uh, preparations. For example, we have electrical design, we have courses on electric circuits, power electronics, ETAB, MATLAB, solar energy, wave energy, wind energy, and much more. You will find also in this uh, academy, you will find the different uh, feedbacks from some of our uh, students that joined our uh, courses you can for example um, uh, join our membership for just a small fee per month or you can just have a lifetime access in which you will get all of current uh, courses and classes and you can have them forever 
and not only this but any any new courses that will be created you will be able to uh, watch it for completely free so what are the classes that i will learn in this membership you will find different classes in electric circuits you will find in uh, transformers magnetic circuits machines uh, power electronics uh, load estimation lighting design lightning also design earthing system cables uh, generators um, like current systems or low current systems uh, of grid design on grid design very very lot <laughs> lots of uh, classes and courses in different uh, topics okay and you will find that inside when you join this membership you'll find this uh, blueprint that will guide you in which classes you will start with when you join this membership so thank you and see you in our um, membership on Khadija Academy.